all right so we looked on the two types of cells and you had a diagram that outlined various organelles that make up the cell all right and we know that the organelles those are the various sections or various structures within the cell that makes that cell function now we're going to be looking on the various aspects of the cell now the first aspect we want to look on is the cell membrane or the cell's protective coat now it separates and protects the cell from the surrounding environment right so the cell membrane it's what keeps whatever it's in the cell inside the cell it controls the movement of substance into the cell and out the cell and it is said to be partially permeable all right now the next thing we're going to look on is the cytoplasm or the cells inner space all right guys so technically it's not space it's like a gelatin substance right it's like you can call it close to jelly it is a jelly-like substance that is present between the nucleus and the cell membrane all right so as you can see in this example the cytoplasm is that space that's surrounding the nucleus but the cell membrane surrounds the cytoplasm. So it's the inside of the cell. Now, the function of the cytoplasm is to allow dissolved materials to move around the cell. All right? So it's basically swimming through the cytoplasm. Now, the other organ we're going to be looking on is the nucleus or the cell center. It's the operational aspect of the cell. Now, a round shaped organelle that contains DNA and DNA actually means deoxyribonucleic acid all right try saying that 10 times fast so deoxyribonucleic acid now DNA is a genetic makeup of the organism which carries the genetic instructions that tells the cells what to do so the DNA controls what happens in the cell the DNA allows us to know that hey we need to make muscle tissue our cells need to make white blood cells and so on so they are the ones that control the operation of the cell now the function of the nucleus is to protect the genetic information right so the nucleus is used to protect that genetic information that controls the cells activities another thing we can look on are the vacuoles now vacuoles are the storage spaces within the cell in plant cells vacuoles are normally full with water and it maintains the firmness of the cell so if you've ever actually noticed that when the sun gets extremely hot plants look a bit droopy and as if they're dried out they're not actually dried out it's because the vacuole doesn't have as much water in it to keep the cell of the plant sturdy so the cell thus looks droopy but when it gets enough water and moisture the vacuoles fills back up and gives the cell a more a lively look in animals the vacuoles are small and they're used to store enzymes for digestion within the cell all right the next organ we're going to be looking on is the mitochondria known as the powerhouse of the cell or the power generator the mitochondria carries out reactions of aerobic respiration all right and it supplies the cell with energy in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate atp now in plants right they have a cell wall a cell wall in plants is the armor coating for that cell this is only found in plant cells right and it stops that plant cell from bursting because if it becomes too turgid it will burst so the cell wall holds that plant cell together the cell wall also gives the plant cell its fixed shape and allows water and dissolved substances to travel freely through the cell also plant cells have cell membranes it's right under the cell wall the next organelle that is specific to plant cells are chloroplasts now chloroplasts they act like the mitochondria but 
chloroplasts they use the sun or solar energy to generate energy and they're the solar generator they're only found in plant cells we cannot have animal cells with chloroplasts they carry out photosynthesis so the process by which plants make food it actually happens within the chloroplast and it's stored as starch that byproduct that food that the plant uses is stored as starch they have a green pigment which we all know within it called chlorophyll and that chlorophyll is what gives the plant its green color all right so we're going to be looking at microbes right there are also a type of cells now when it comes down to microbes microbes are small organisms example bacteria fungi viruses and bacteria they are single cell or unicellular organisms meaning they are just one single cell and they have cell wall and cell membrane as shown in the diagram so you can pause the video and take a look at the various structures that are within the bacteria or the microbe they also have a small tail called a flagellum that allows them to swim but not all and again they have the placid right C cytoplasm you see the cell wall the green ear is a cell wall and a little thin line would represent the cell membrane it has a capsule that is used to protect it all right so these are single cell or unicellular organisms now another unicellular organism would be a amoeba you have the amoeba being a organism that can actually move around so again if you look at the structure you have the cell cytoplasm right it has the vacuole and it has some food vacuole because it creates something called a pseudopodum or a false foot that reaches out and as you can see right here engulfs the food and pulls it into the cell so it can be digested right so pause the video look at the image read and that would be for an amoeba and remember it has a pseudopodium also known as a false foot